He's back! <laughs> it's electric. Alright. We're here. New Jersey. Last time I was in New Jersey, I actually got shelled on by my face off guy, Hoagie. First on the field with a PLL guy, super excited to actually known this guy for a bit. First guest on my podcast, Pelk Talk, back in the day. Rail's back! We're here at Florham Park. Pre-game predictions. You think I'm gonna beat him in lax? No, dude, this man's gonna smoke you. What's up guys, Mitch Pelkey out here in New Jersey, Tony Soprano land, I'm out here with the PLL athlete, Jules Henningberg. What's up guys, Jules Henningberg here, Red Bulls Lacrosse Club, midfielder, we're out here in Jersey, like Mitch said, about to get this shooting popping off right now, and then we're hitting the crib a little bit later. Let's go, let's get it going. Alright, first competition of the day, we got Pig, obviously we're going to call it Lax. Well, also the Young Buck last time it came on. No way! The Young Buck takes it! Am I going to lose today? I mean, we'll see, baby. No, no much. <laughs> Alright, let's get it going. Uh, I'm going to go to the Old and Faithful here. Crossbar. Oh. Low to high, top right corner. Oh. Alright, I'm on the board. I got L. This going to be quick. I can't be getting sweeped out here in New Jersey. Near side, overhand. Oh. We're gonna teach him back to the Seton Hall days where he was learning a bunch. Overhand, low corner. Bam. Twister, top right. Wow! He's out here, baby! Nope, nope. Left pipe. Alright, let's have some fun. What? Okay, that was good. Left leg. Left leg up, yeah. Fans out there know the Pelkey family is not flexible. Right hand, low to high. Riverside High School, three time state champ. Never closed the yearbook! Oh, man. They ain't winning states this year. Me. Bing bong! I feel like this is it. No way! It's over. It's over. It's over. We're going on to competition number two, Goalie Wars. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm gonna win this one. We'll see. You know, I told you how accurate of a shooter I am, mate. Right here, brick wall. Jules is gonna get five here. Stop the cap. Minimum nine. Oh, that's gonna start. Balkanator's here, man. Oh, I had it. No. Oh, top right, top right. Yeah. <laughs> he, he heard me. He heard that's me. The real dog's up. What do you want first? East side, or offside, left hand. Never going with Braille again. Wow! Bam! Bam! God! Yes! Let's go! Go oh. play bottom left. No kicker. Oh, oh this guy! Okay. I called it! Twister, top right. Wow! Come on! Mitchell yeah. Pelkey, national championship. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Twister, top right. No! Oh. Come here, come here, boy. This is what we do for overtime. You're gonna go righty, I'm gonna go lefty. You got three shots, gotta go with your offhand, same position. That's gonna be the deciding factor. Okay. You wanna stay in or you wanna hop out? No, I'm in, I'm hot. Oh! Yes! <laughs> feeling good and feeling confident. I'm warm. First shot, we're just going low left. Right. Oh, man. It counts. We're going to the exact same spot again. Can't stop it. All right. One of the exact same what spots again. No! Game, set, match. Oh my god. Oh, we're on to the last competition now. It's called Nothing But Net. That's it. 
Let's hit the Italian. Let's go. Right, well, that wraps it up on the field. We're gonna go to his house and get a little childhood bedroom room tour. I'm really excited for this one. A little Q&A action as well. You ready? Yeah, it'll be interesting. Let's go. What up, gang? It's Jules. Welcome to the childhood crib. We're in Maplewood, New Jersey right now, baby. This is it. I was telling Mitch, very gritty. We got living room, small, cozy. You think you grew up in the grittiest household in the PLL? I mean, I would, I would say so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is where me and my siblings do most of our hanging out. I'm back home for the holidays, so here in New Jersey. We have five siblings, so it's a packed house, not very big, but it's fun when everyone's here. Jersey up there, I need to wrap all these up. Did you asked Santa for Christmas this year? I asked for a ring light for TikTok. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so what's Pop's go-to meal? Childhood classic hamburger helper. You ever yeah, had that? It's classic, fire. Absolutely. Yeah, some macaroni and cheese with the ground beef in it. Anything that he can make a big pot of and leave it on the stove so that we could just go. And grab it. Attack it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. What's your go to meal in the kitchen? Buy a bunch of chicken breasts. Get the chicken Chicken or rice? Yeah, chicken That's rice. like every guy, though. Yeah. Every guy that says they cook for themselves or they cook dinner, they're making chicken and rice. I'm not kidding. You know what's really good? Low key turkey meatloaf. It's fire. Oh, God. Fire. Can we get some meatloaf? Who's a good cook in the PLO? Blaze and Rambo brand themselves as chefs yeah. in the PLO. I mean, Jerry Ragonese is the ultimate. Really? Go cook. Check out my bedroom in the basement. Before we hop into his room, I got a little giveaway for you guys. Hat Mitch. It's not going anywhere. With the 2022 lacrosse season here, STX and myself want to do a little giveaway action. Here's how you enter. Number one, like this video. Number two, comment below on this video. And number three, follow me on Instagram. And the winner of this giveaway gets two things on the STX website. Whether that's a pair of gloves and a head, head and a shaft, a head and a head, a helmet, the prizes are endless. Like this video, comment below, follow me on Instagram. Let's get back to the video. I used to call it the dungeon <laughs> down here. So we had the bed, a bunch of my knickknacks, and then we had a TV, and it was pretty simple. This is from senior year of high school. A lot of this stuff's so old from someone had this at our state championship uh, or semi game, and it's just me holding a chicken wing. <laughs> senior male athlete of the year at Rutgers uh, from where he beat Syracuse. Balls from awards again at Rutgers. First team all Big Ten. Uh, oh, this is my first MLO goal. Remember the play? Yeah. Coming around the cage, lefty versus New York Lizards, I yeah. think. I mean, this reminds me of freshman year in college. <laughs> For the final segment of the video, we're gonna do a Q&A with Jules. We're down here in the dungeon. The atmosphere is unreal. First question, what was it like growing up in the Jules Henningberg household? Growing up here was a lot of fun, a lot of chaos. I had a lot of siblings, siblings so yeah. it's, you know, definitely a lot of fun, learned a lot. What was the recruiting process like for you? Recruiting was definitely not clean cut. I didn't know how to get recruited. I just knew there was a kid in my town that played for Leading Edge, which yeah. was a good club team. I didn't get on that team until junior year. Everyone got recruited. Talking about Rutgers, like how'd you land on them? I think for me, landing on them was a couple things. One, financially was the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. My parents weren't gonna pay for school, so it was yeah. it was all gonna fall on my shoulders. My dad told me that from a young age, like I'm not paying for college. You know, get a scholarship, basically. Yeah. What well, was the best opportunity to play? Uh, outside of that, you know, the environment of the school as well. So Navy was free. Okay. Delaware was, I was getting offered about a half scholarship, and then yeah. Rutgers was in-state tuition. Worked out really well that okay. opportunity to play and a good scholarship at Rutgers. Oh, what are some things you do outside of lacrosse? Watch movies. I'm a movie connoisseur. I'm gonna okay. put that out there. Favorite movie, what is it? Favorite movie is Interstellar. Really? Yeah. Okay. You like that movie? I've seen it and I really didn't like it. Oh <laughs> my honest. god. So you don't it's know, too long. Obviously, too long. he doesn't know anything I'm about movies. I'm a stepbrothers guy. Yeah, see, there's, <laughs> there's, there's two different types of people in the world, right? Inter <laughs> Interstellar and stepbrothers. Yeah. Favorite current teammate? Timmy. Trauner. Biggest hack in the league. Tucker Durkin. Biggest chirper in the league. Dominique Alexander. Still. <laughs> still, he said Buckeye. it in the podcast. Yeah. I love Buckeye. that. I love that. Low socks or high socks? Low socks. What lacrosse player did you look up to as a young buck? Billy Bitter. Yeah. Pre game ritual? Listen to like the same five songs over and over again. Many men, trophies, right. dreams and nightmares, stay scheming. I still want to push a T. What was the first car you ever got and drove? Chrysler Sebring, 2004. Dude, my grandma has that car. <laughs> Oh my, I love First that. Of all, it was top five lacrosse players of all time, in order. John Grant Jr. So you have to give it to Paul. Yeah. Scary Gate. Joe Kyle in there, four. Okay. Sir Mikey in there. We were cried at a movie. Maybe Rent. Rent? Have you ever seen that? No. Yeah, an adult movie. Okay. <laughs> Last question. Yep. Are you a pineapple and pizza guy? Absolutely not. Yes, <laughs> let's go. All right, well that wraps up today's video. You know, where can the fans follow you at? YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, and Twitter. They're all at Jules Henningberg. So that is coined, locked in forever. And don't forget to like this video. Helps out with this video and my channel as a whole. Subscribe down below. We're trying to get to 25,000. I'm still surreal that we passed 20,000. Way more videos to come with Jules and I, but I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. And a clean up.